Hi, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Hunter. I'm a fifth grade teacher here at Minnesaki, and I'm so happy to be here with you tonight to read you a story for Milk and Cookies Night. The story that I picked is called Interrupting Chicken. And I like this book a lot. I think it's silly and fun. And I'm so excited that I get a chance to read it to you tonight. It's by an author named David Stein. And this book actually won a Caldecott honor, which means it's really, really good. So if you are ready, if you're cozy, I'll begin. So it starts on the cover. It says... This book is called Interrupting Chicken, right, Papa? And Papa says, yes, now please don't interrupt the story. Here we go. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you all ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read one of your favorites. And of course, you are not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh, no, Papa. I'll be good. So, Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, What lovely children! Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't go in! She's a witch. So Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. Chicken. Yes, Papa? You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. I'll be good. So now Papa's going to read this one. Do you know this story, Little Red Riding Hood, boys and girls? Okay, here goes Papa. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when... Out jumped the little red chicken and she said, Don't talk to strangers! So Little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. Chicken! Yes, Papa? You did it again. You interrupted two stories and you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa. I'm sorry, but he was a mean wolf. Yes, now get back into bed. Okay, Papa, let's try one more little story and I'll be good. Okay, so Papa's going to read one more story. Do you know the story, Chicken Little, boys and girls? Here goes Papa. Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought, and she was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm that the sky was falling when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, don't panic, it was just an acorn. So Chicken Little didn't. The end. Oh my goodness. Boys and girls, chicken. Yes, Papa, you did it again. Oh, look at poor Papa. 
Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story. I promise I'll fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we are all out of stories. Oh, no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. Oh, <sighs> then said Papa, yawning. Why don't you tell me a story? Oh, <gasps> me? Tell a story, said Little Red Chicken. Okay, Papa, here we go. Um, bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed awake all... Do you know what Z's mean? That's right. Good night, Papa. The end. Good night, boys and girls.